Hey everybody, we're from Stardew's Gaming here, back with another episode of our Crusader Kings 2, a Game of Thrones mod Let's Play. So in the last episode, we not only put down the uh, efforts of Wolfswood to take White Harbor from us, uh, not necessarily take it from us, but they wanted to put somebody else on the, on the uh, seat of White Harbor, and we weren't having it. So we put that down, and we followed it up by taking the Dreadfort out from under the Bolton. So our heir, Lord Callan, is currently holding it along with uh, Weeping Bay, and um, for some reason my armies are still up. I must have forgotten to disband them. I don't believe that we're at war with anybody right now. Um, I mean, technically we are, but not really relevantly. Um, so today we're going to continue working on grabbing up some claims. Um, we're still working on Pine's End, which hasn't gone much better than Crow's Edge did, but we're still working on those two. Uh, from there, we're going to go over to these guys, and I think I'd like to grab Seal Shore as well. We can't um, attack the Boltons again for a little while, but as soon as that truce ends, I'd like to get Seal Shore back. Um, then we'll continue you know, taking all of this stuff from them, but uh, that will be far, far down the line. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, while we're doing that, I would just like to remind you guys to hit that like button if you're enjoying the series so far and you'd like to see more Crusader Kings 2. And don't forget to subscribe as well. It's the best way to help the channel grow and the best way to follow along with this series as it plays out. So let's get the clock moving. And uh, let's see. Lord Harlan is holding a melee. Sure, I'll go. I don't really care. Again, if this guy dies, it just... Speeds things along for us, so really not a big deal. Hmm. Let's see. So Lord Walton of Martlet Bay has usurped the title Lordship of Gravesham from Sir Walder Grell. Okay, I don't know who or what any of that is. So, not really much of a concern. Uh, what's happening now? Okay. Disbanded, whatever. Oh, right, we needed to deal with some prisoners. Um, the... Actually, a prisoner, Ethan the Unworthy. Um, we're just going to ransom this guy. But Ethan the Unworthy was the leader of Wolfswood who declared war on me. So, let's see here. Um... We basically boiled it down to whether or not we wanted to execute him or blind him. Um, I also put torture in there, but nobody wanted that. So, um, it's basically come down to these two, and since it's 50-50, and I was leading toward blinding him, I think that's what we're going to do. Um, so... He becomes blind, he's released from prison, his opinion of me becomes really, really low, and we get a chance of becoming cruel. We also lose piety, which we have an excess of. So let's do it. Okay, so we became cruel, it's not that big a deal. Um, that really hurt my diplomacy, though. Actually, it didn't really hurt it, it was already pretty bad. Why did it go down so much, though? It went from 8 to 2. That's a bit interesting. Um, being a lunatic probably doesn't help, but that's not actually affecting that stat. Huh. I'm not sure... why that happened. Okay, so... that's what he gets for plotting against us. Um, attorney, okay, I'll accept. We'll go ahead and jump in. You're in Bolton, okay. Let's see, he's no match for my might. Okay, so we easily break through his guard and knock him over. I will be, or I will accept that be known as the Ruthless, okay. No, I don't want to do that. I don't have anything against him. So there's one victory. 
Okay, we gain a little bit of prestige there. Um, what else do we have going on? Okay. So, Roos Bolton. Not the same Roos Bolton that you're thinking. And Ramsey Karstark. Let's see. Is he a match for our might? Nope. Hmm. You go at him honorably, but he uses every dirty trick to try to take advantage. He attempts sly kicks and cunning trips until he sees an opportunity to strike. He overwhelms our defense and with a mighty blow sends us sprawling to the ground. You look up at him towering above you, ready to deliver the finishing blow. I'm going to roll out of the way. He strikes, but we roll the dodge just in time, taking no more than a flesh wound. You force yourself back to your feet and hold your weapon ready. Um... 25% chance of us getting wounded. Okay, um, we're going to go at him again. We spot an opening in his defense. So we'll strike. We break through his guard and knock him down. Um, I could kill him for being dishonorable, but uh, I'm going to let it go. We got the better of him after all. Okay, so a little bit more prestige there. Who are we fighting next? He's going to accept and pay for his release. Who do we have here? Morgan Karstark? He's not very good either. We'll just try to overwhelm him. Overwhelm him too. So he panics. And uh, he rolls to the side. Wounded but still very much alive. Let's see if he'll just give up. Um, he won't manage to touch me. Okay, so we've got him this time. He's defeated. And we have won. When is this thing over? Oh, okay, it's over now. So we get 25 gold and 50 prestige for winning that. That's awesome. I believe that also gives us enough gold to purchase whatever upgrade we had our eye on. Um, I think we were doing patrol posts. So, let's see. Can I even get them here? Oh, it's 225 gold. I thought it was less than that. I keep underestimating the price of it for some reason. I thought it was 200 last I checked, but I guess I was wrong. Um, oh, it, it was 200 in White Harbor. Okay. Interesting. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do it because that is going to uh, boost our garrison sizes. Give us 50 more heavy infantry, which is nice. And then that will allow us to um, take the next upgrade for... Uh, what was it? I forget what it was that we were working toward. Ah, so private farms. To upgrade that to small estates and improve our um, income and infantry, we need patrol post one. So we'll go ahead and do that. And let's see. Bennett Raventree believes that he should be granted a title from us due to his competence. I was actually thinking about giving him one, but now that he's demanding one, I guess I can't. He really doesn't like me for some reason. Oh, because we refused him a title? Oh, and we're both ambitious. Oh, well. I'm not going to give somebody that angry at me a title. It's just a recipe for disaster. Oh, attorney. Right. I thought that was already um, happening. I guess not. Okay, the first tilt begins. Opponent got the better of us. Our lance merely makes a glancing blow on their armor while theirs hits true. Are we done already? Okay. So we were eliminated by Sir Pate Ironsmith. Oh well. At least we won the melee. Care more about that. How are we doing militarily? We're almost to capacity here. For some reason, that's gone down considerably. Um, I don't care. Like, if I'm out, then it doesn't matter to me. So, 
Come to my attention that nobody has been designated as regent for Carhold should the realm need it. Needless to say, this is a perilous position. As surely squabble and rivalry... Um... Oh, you're offering your services, huh? I thought I did have somebody designated. No, apparently not, but uh, Callan is going to be our designated regent since he is the heir. Master of Horse, I will give to... Maybe I'll give it to Wyliss to make him not hate me so much. Yeah, absurd. He's going to like me even less now. Great. Nobody seems to like this guy, but understandable. I mean, he's crazy. He's cruel. Hmm. For too long, I've ignored the constant affronts from my rival, Walton Castle. My honor demands I ask Liege Lord Paramount Roos for permission to challenge him to a duel. Um, yeah, let's do it. Okay, don't care. Don't care. Rook for Carhold Faction. Are you serious right now? You really don't like me. I don't I didn't realize he was always our rival. That's kind of strange. Um I could give him a gift. Not going to get me very far though. I can ask him to stop backing a plot. He's going to say no. Huh. I could potentially imprison him for that. No, I guess not. Hmm. Well, that's a shame. Tourney's over. Nothing I can do about this faction. Although I am not entirely certain why you want to duel your rival, you clearly feel you need to defend your honor. You have my permission. He graciously grants our request. Okay, we're going to challenge him to a duel. He did not accept the challenge and has lost much honor and respect. Okay. Huh. Word has reached you that your storm singer, Brandon of Woodhaven, has given into weakness and helped himself to the alms he was meant to distribute amongst the poor. Uh, return the gold and all may be forgiven. Honestly, I'd rather have gold than piety, so... Whatever. How are your uh, various sons coming along? He's actually not nearly as good as his father. Uh, what about Leobald here? He's actually pretty solid. And he likes me a lot more than his father does, too. Uh, we have Daisy Raven Tree, My Lesser Raven Tree, Alice Snow. And then, um, whoops. You also have. Wow, you have a lot of bastard children, don't you? Let's go ahead and prove our strength in another melee because it gives me prestige and the sooner we die the better. None of this matters, so I'm going to get rid of all of it. I'm curious to see the strength of this faction, though. They're at... F oh, wait, no, this is the liege loyalists of the north. They're at 45%. Um, Rook for Carhold is at 43%. So... I might have to assassinate you, man. Let's see. Plot to kill. Plot to kidnap. Plot to incite revolt. I don't know. None of those seem like they're going to be all that effective. Meanwhile, I don't, I'm not sure why our military fell off so much. Because this was at like 7,000 at one point. Okay. I will defeat him. What's happening down here? I'm going to just try to overwhelm him. Oh, no. He overwhelms our defense. Uh, we're going to roll out of the way. And overwhelm him again. We slip up again. We're going to roll out of the way again. Um... There we go. So he's going to roll out of the way. 
we slip up. We're gonna roll out of the way. And, uh... We make him panic, it's all over. Finally he surrenders and we're wounded great. But that was that was one hell of a battle. Let's see. So Walton Whitehill is next. We are gonna try to overwhelm him. Looks like that went nope. I was going to say that went pretty quickly, but he manages to recover. We take advantage again and defeat him. Brent Raventree and Alice Snow had a daughter named Shira. You guys are technically related. That's a bit weird. I don't care what they name it. Who's this guy? Damon Wolfield. He actually might be a challenge. Uh oh. Roll out of the way. Let's see. He tries to take advantage. We're going to roll out of the way again. Roll out of the way again. <laughs> Apparently, you can just keep doing that forever. Um, we are putting ourselves at greater risk for wounds, but oh, we're maimed. That's not good. Oh, are we going to beat him? We've totally beat him. Wow. Even though we're maimed. So I think we lost a uh, a leg or something. Or going to lose a leg. So Torgan Bolton. Um, he's awful. We're going to try to overwhelm him. He's not going to give up. Looks like we can still press the advantage because we're considerably better. He still won't give up. And I think finally we'll get him. No. Let's see. He's no match for our might. I'm not finished. We're going to roll out of the way. How are we doing? Still maimed. Oh, we're panicked? Great. Rolling out of the way. <laughs> Why are we panicked? No, we're not giving up. We keep slipping up. Um, I'm not sure why. Our martial skill is still considerably better than his. Come on. Really? Finally, come on. That was a good fight. A bit ridiculous because we did outclass him, but at least we finally won. So we win 10 gold and 25 prestige for that, although we were maimed in the process, so we'll see what happens with that. If he dies, again, not a big deal. Callan's all set up to take the reins. Um, he's no longer a priest. He died. Severe stress. Okay, apparently he wasn't too stressed to steal money from us, though. Um, let's see who we can replace him with. Uh, apparently, Rickon is going to be the best choice here. He's also Brandon's heir. So we'll give that to him. And then we want him performing acts of charity in the capital. Um, what else do we have going on? I wanted to see what was happening here. So, Lord Warman the Holy in Hornwood claim on the Dreadfort. The Dreadfort's mine. Interesting. So, well, Hornwood was never part of um, the Bolton's holding, so... It's still interesting. I'm not sure how exactly that's going to shake out because it belongs to us not anybody else after many hours of intense battle Lord Winton's melee is finally over 
Okay, what's happening here? Uh, it doesn't look like it matters. And, God, can we not get rid of Harlan? Watch, he's going to end up being like a demon that lives forever or something. Um, no thank you. But, uh, Callan is poised to be pretty powerful when he takes over. Uh, he does hold the Dreadfort and Weeping Bay. So, once he inherits the High Lordship, Last Hearth, Carhold, and White Harbor will also be his. And we can probably give Weeping Bay to somebody. Um, he won't need it, obviously. And he'll hold basically the four main provinces in the east of the north and uh, have quite a bit of strength at his disposal. I will uh, give him a little gift for that. But yeah, I don't, I don't know why our military fell off so much. Obviously our martial skill going down may have affected that, but um, it's probably due to people's opinions of me, I would think, because we're just making everybody hate us more and more. Um, I don't know why our diplomacy fell off so much. It went from 8 to 2. So, one, two, three. I only see minus five here. We must have lost another trait. I, I don't remember what else we had, but we must have lost another trait that um, was giving us more points. Are we still ambitious? That might be it. Roth, cynical, temperate. No, I think because we lost ambitious and possibly another trait, that's why it fell off. Let's see. Um, no, who was it? It wasn't Duncan. It was my nephew, but I don't remember whose son he was. Not yours, clearly. Not yours. Um, not Morgan's, so possibly... I don't know. Another tourney, huh? No, thank you. I'll pass on that. Let's go ahead and close these. Master Theoden is no longer our healer. Okay, well, we'll have to appoint a new one. Uh, apparently, Willard is the only option, so Willard it is. I could call for another Maester, but I don't think we need one. Uh, Willard seems pretty competent. Although his uh, skill in learning could be better. He's actually pretty well balanced, though, well, other than martial skill and intrigue. But he'll do. Hmm. We are not having a whole lot of luck with these land claims, are we? I'll have to see if there's anything I can press. Like, can I just conquest this? Um, no. No, I can't. It's going to be the same there. We do have territory bordering it, so if that were available, it should have shown up. Uh-oh. Come on, man. <laughs> your bed is warm. Just as you're about to drift to sleep, you hear a strange hissing sound. Yeah, it's not your bed, pal. It's the snake somebody dropped in it. Something cold and scaly brushed past your naked leg. As you sit up, you feel a sharp pain in your upper thigh. Pulling back the covers to reveal a vicious, hissing snake. You stumble out of bed, but already your sight grows dimmer as the intense pain spreads through your body. So we die. Somebody assassinated us, but that's fine. So, uh, Callan of Carhold is our new leader. We're going to have to appoint um, a new council, obviously. So, uh, Harlan died at 48 years old. Died under suspicious circumstances. No kidding. He died of a snake bite in his own bedchamber. If that's not an obvious assassination, I don't know what is. We have a new heir. It's our daughter, Sybil. Um, let's see. Whilst he reigned, Lord Harlan decreed that you should be the regent of Roos Stark should his rule end before Roos is ready to rule. Of who? You assume the regency and title Lord Protector of the North. What's happening? Uh, apparently we're regent of the North because the Lord Paramount was in prison. I didn't even know that Harlan was regent. So we're technically in charge of the North right now. Um, 
we're gonna have to take advantage of that, definitely. We are out of time, though. So, um... Let's see. Just a small private funeral will suffice. He was kind of crazy, after all. And, uh, we'll have to deal with that. We can close these, um... We'll wait a bit longer to extend the loan since he is in prison. It feels a bit dishonorable begging for it while he's locked up. Um, but we are out of time for the day, so let me know what you guys think about this whole us being a regent. We could potentially use this to our advantage. I'm not sure what um, added benefits that gives us, but you know we are in a pretty good position of power right now. Um, let's see. Militarily, we're just about as strong as we've ever been since we have... Um, five domain or five provinces in our domain currently we are going to give away weeping bay to somebody it could be that nephew that we had who was um begging for land previously as uh he probably won't hate lord callan as much as he hated lord harlan but we will certainly see um anywho thank you guys so much for watching i had a great time playing some crusader kings 2 with you and i look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode